So thanks, Calvin, for introducing so many exciting functions of what we can do uh, on Beam 360. So right now, I will tell you more exciting things. It's our next generation of Beam 360. As, uh, Kevin has already shown you this slide. We, we provide ex uh, many different uh, modules uh, of Beam 360 to you right now. And we have received so many feedbacks that uh, the uh, customer wants a single platform to handle all the matters. And they want one common data platform to unify the solution. So we have taken the suggestion seriously and have created the next generation of Beam 360, which unifies all the existing function, plus many new features all together into a single integrated platform for A, E, and C to work together. Let's take a look uh, its architecture. The next generation of Beam 360 will support the integration and automation of workflow. Uh, it can support design, pre-construction, field execution, and handover and operation stages. And you will find uh, three stacks here. Let's take a look uh, how you can handle the uh, project data. <clears throat> so the existing 360 group function will become a model coordination function in the new platform. It provides a more user-friendly model integration and crash detection capability. You will use the same file to do the crash detection. And you can see that here is the file list and the number of crash is shown on the right. Uh, you can pick the model and then select the 3D view to browse your model. And then you can uh, turn on and off any view of the objects you want. And you can have a crash table with color coded. Here's the crash table. And, uh, and the number of crashes, is the color is depends on the number of crashes you have. So all these new changes means project shelter can benefit from the result of the insight, and they can be informed in the entire project, leading to greater accuracy, transparency, as well as deeper accountability. So what's, what can we use on the site? <clears throat> The supervisor and worker can actually use the smartphone to do the checklist, punch list, issue, doing commissioning. All functions are elegantly organized and user-friendly. So few users have no reasons to reject the use of uh, BIM 360 to report, to report the field situation. If any time there is a change, a log is available, and that can be a, a finger pointing can be avoided by using BIM 360. So we have a more excited function, uh, the submittal function. We have heard a lot of requests to have Autodesk to implement the submittal function in the Beam 360 because customers right now need to pay very expensive uh, to purchase other third-party solution, and those solution is usually disconnected from the project workflow. So the submittal function in uh, in the new platform, we will allow the project team to access the information that they needed and when they needed. Project manager can keep track of the submitted information and drive those subcontractors or trade who hasn't provided enough or accurate information according to the project strict schedule. So everything is tracked and everything is auditable. Another excited function will be the uh, cost control or budgeting function. In the next few months, uh, we will working with some selected customer in our uh, insider program to test the cost control function. We value being able to forecast the cost impact uh, of a potential change because uh, we all know those changes will affect through the project. We will handle the cost change in a unified way. And then with the project data, so how can we leverage the data to create analytics and insights? So as AI and machine learning technology is getting mature, uh, Autodesk machine learning engine called the Project IQ is already busy at work right now. 
uh, over the past several months, uh, the Project IQ has studied over 30 million issues. That 30 million issue is 30 million times something went wrong on the job site. So uh, Project IQ is learning those lessons and developing algorithm to predict the outcome on future projects so that we can avoid the issue entirely in your next project. So with Project IQ, existing performance and trend can also be reported while different charts and presentation. Mobile phone is also supported uh, to let the project status and progress in the hand of the project manager. So uh, let us take a look of the, the bottom layer of BIM 360. Uh, BIM 360 is actually uh, built by the programming tools called Autodesk Forge. Uh, it, the <coughs> it may allow uh, every function as we recognize that Autodesk may not uh, provide all the function you needed. So we opened our development tools to all of you. Our customers or third party developers can make use of Forge to connect their system with our BIM 360 system so that we can form a real common data platform to work together. If you have uh, some legacy system uh, that you are working very well, and you want to integrate it with BIM 360 so that everyone get on the same page, you can do so by using uh, Autodesk Forge. So that's why uh, we have announced a, a Connect and Construct Exchange program. It is a, a new BIM 360 integration partner program. Uh, you can see the slide here. We have already 50 partners to work on their uh, application on BIM 360. Take the Cloudsphere as an example. So it's a, if you want a, a cloud to cloud backup solution, you want to back up uh, your data on BIM 360, you can just click on the BIM 360 app tag and then select uh, the, the Cloudsphere. And then it can enable you to copy your data between BIM 360 and box.com and vice versa. And another interesting application is uh, a Smart IQ. Uh, as the AI and computing visioning is, is getting mature, uh, the company can leverage the computer vision and AI to recognize the construction worker who hasn't wear the safety vest or the, the safety helmet and identify those safety issues. And all these issues together combined with the BIM model and BIM 360, then with the BIM 360, you can have a more context to visualize uh, where this uh, safety issue is happening. So we have just go over three uh, key stacks of the BIM 360. So what's coming in the new function on the design team? So as uh, Kelvin has mentioned that uh, you can use collaboration for Refit and the, and the light point on the map show here is actually the usage density of C4R in the world. And we, we have estimated that we have actually saved our customer over one million of hours by, by purely using uh, C4R. And the next generation of C4R will also be integrated in the new uh, BIM 360 platforms. So here is an aggregated view of all the project data automatically maintained and organized by how project team think and no, no more up nodes or, or file exports. Multidisciplinary team can coordinate together that never be possible. No more file transfer or generate PDF. Design team can share one common data platform to finish their design works. So we have uh, talked about a lot of collaboration among uh, many disciplines in design, pre-construction, field execution, and handover and operations. We still miss uh, one discipline. Can you guess which one is? Who is this? 
Beam Fix T, uh, Beam V60 can support Revit and AutoCAD. And how about the civil engineering? Uh, the next generation of Beam V60 will support our uh, flagship products on the infrastructure side. AutoCAD CU 3D, InfoWorks, and Pan 3D will also be uh, supported by the Beam 360. Soon, civil infrastructure team will be able to enjoy the same type of cloud collaboration with their tools. Imagine your civil 3D project in the cloud can have the function like the collaboration for Revit. Multiple civil 3D users can communicate and edit the same civil 3D model in the same time on the cloud. And Beam 360 is long only handle the civil model. You can see here, you, you can, we can support both the vertical and the horizontal access all together. That means you can have InfoWork, civil 3D, reference project all together. As you know, all our project will include building, the site, anything all together. So in this way, Beam 360 can provide you a true collaboration for all the disciplines working on the same model. So before my end of my presentation, I would like you to remember three words about the next generation of Beam 360. Unified, Beam 360 will be a unified single platform for, for you to work with. Sharing, everyone, civil engineer, architect, many other engineer, consultant, and contractor can work on the single sharing platform to collaborate their work. Open. Beam 360 is an open platform, not only for Autodesk, it's for all of you to develop or bind with your application together with the Autodesk Forge. So we have talked a lot of things about, a lot of good things about Beam 360. What are you waiting for? So let's try the next general Beam 360 now. So you can try on this website. Thank you. <laughs>